Okay, we're down here in the uh, Summer's End cherry trees, and we are training these trees to grow in the direction of our choosing. First thing we did last year was we came in here and selected two branches, main branches, and then we cut them here. And so that's all that was standing. By the end of the uh, season, these other branches all sprouted out on both of those original two. And so this year, now we're coming in and we're gonna train these, selecting the branches that we want to maintain so the tree grows in the direction that we want. Here's an example from the uh, two original branches that we see here. We have the uh, extended limbs. We select out three branches on each side. One branch here, the other branch here, and the other branch here going in these three different directions and then leaving one to go straight up into the air. Okay, and so the next stage of this tree, because we've pulled these branches down horizontal, it's gonna cause them to produce fruit buds. And uh, that's what we want them to do. If we let them just continue to go up in the air, then uh, they just keep taking all the energy of the tree and shooting them straight up into the air and producing very little in the way of fruit limbs or fruit uh, buds. Now, the next stage of this is we'll come in here and reach up, oh, about three feet above uh, the lower set of branches and we're going to, uh, with a hacksaw, we're going to make a cut here, we'll make a cut there, we'll make a cut here, and we'll take about four or five of those around the branch and it will cause these then to shoot out and make branches at this level. And uh, we have the potential to doing this two and maybe three times in this tree so that we have a nice series of fruit producing branches all around the tree and at three various levels, all getting lots of sunlight, uh, easy to work with and uh, sun striking the wood and producing more fruit bearing branches and lots of fruit. So anyway, here we go. Uh, also, by pulling these branches down now, here's another tree that I'm working on. Uh, you'll see that it'll actually fill in between the trees with fruit bearing branches. Okay, so eventually, all of these trees will almost look like a grove of uh, cherry trees. There you have it.